Hello guys, in this video we will be talking about the docker compose. This is very interesting topic. Until now we have covered all the basic concepts of docker like pulling images from the docker or pushing image or create your own custom image or docker networking. Everything has been clear till now and now we will be moving towards some advanced topic that is docker compose. So let's see what is docker compose. So basically docker compose is a tool for defining and running multi container docker applications. With docker compose you can use yaml file to configure your application's service. Then with a single command you can create and start all the services from your configurations. So let's understand this with an example. So uh, it is an example of a typical application web application here in this web application there is one wordpress container and one nginx and mysql and redis there are four containers and these all make a typical web application so uh, to create this type of application we have to create all the uh, containers one by one and here you can see without compose we have to uh, create all the containers one by one we first we have to create the wordpress container and we have to make all the configurations there and then we have to create the nginx servers container then mysql and then redis so we have to create all the containers one by one manually and also we have to link them to make connectivity between them so you can also see our wordpress deployment video uh, in that video we have covered it without the docker compose but with docker compose to run the multi container applications it completely changed with docker compose there are simply two steps first we have to write the docker compose yaml file and we have to write all the configurations in it and then we have to uh, simply run one simple command docker compose up so all the containers we mention in this yaml file will going to be created with this simple command so first let's see how this docker compose yaml file looks so uh, Here you can see uh, the use cases of docker compose define services that make your app in compose.yaml file and then we have to run the docker compose up command so a yaml file looks like this first uh, we have to mention the services and here is the name of the container which we want to give to our container and here is the build dot and here this build dot represent this docker file we can also create the containers using our own custom docker file here we have to mention the path of this docker file and also we can here mention the ports and the volumes and here it is showing the depends on the depends on option tells that this service is depends on this image means first this image will be created after that this image will be created so this depends on works like this and here uh, it is our first image rep and it is our second image uh, redis and here we can also use the image name here we have used the docker file and here we can also use the image uh, image redis and here we can mention the volumes uh, here is the log volume 01 and log volume so it is the basic structure of a yaml file there are also many more things in the yaml file which we can write we will demo the compose with the yaml file in our next video so uh, with docker compose it is easy to create multi container applications and here are some basic docker compose commands uh, docker compose up it starts all the services defined in a compose file and the docker compose down it stops and removes all the containers and docker compose build it builds all the images defined in the compose file and ps as you know list all the running containers and uh, rm it removes all the stopped containers created by the docker compose and exec it executes a command running containers created by the docker compose start for start all the containers and stop for stopping all the containers and restart for restart all the containers 
and logs shows all the logs for running containers created by docker compose so it is the basic introduction of the docker compose we will demo this docker compose in our next video so that's it for now thanks for watching this video